What up everyone, it's your man xman87 here bringing you another collection video on what I have for you today. We're taking a look at my updated cosmic shelf with the new HasLab Galactus on display. So I wasn't able to do an on the shelf segment for my HasLab Galactus review. So I figured, you know what, let me do that in a separate video because I needed extra time to set this up and we'll take a few things that are uh, newly added to the collection. So yeah, I have Galactus set up right here and like I said, I was going to do was display him holding Nova and Silver Surfer summoning off of his hands and uh, I really like that Frankie Ray Nova pose that I put in one of my photos and I'm just like, you know what, I want her just like that on the display. So I'm very happy with how she came out. She looks so elegantly cosmic. And I decided to go with the Walgreens Silver Surfer version, the first one uh, they released. That has a better metallic deco. I didn't go with the HasLab one. It just, the silver just looks more dull on that one. And this one just pops, man. I love how the silver looks on that. But I kept the, you know, uh, the purple effect on him because it goes with the purple flight stand and man this just looks epic so let me turn him on Ooh, there we go all right turn that on so we could take a good look at how galactus looks on the shelf and uh yeah here's a better look at the frankie ray nova and then silver surfer man he looks so cool on that Light stand. I just I think the peg was horribly placed. Horribly placed. Ugh, can't speak <laughs> on this surfboard. Um, they should have went magnetic, man. All right, let me back up so y'all can see the rest of the display. Don't make fun of my Deadpool pajamas, okay? They're goaded. <laughs> and boom, man! Look at that. That is my updated cosmic display. Oh man. This Galactus is insane. He just towers over everyone. I mean, as he should. So I just remember having the Marvel Universe 19-inch Galactus here as my centerpiece of the cosmic display. And now seeing this guy as the centerpiece, this is the true centerpiece of my collection. Like, whoo, man. And, you know, I got Master Mold right over there set up on my X-Men display. But, oh, Wow. Uh, I did shift some things a little bit. Uh, I did put the Herald of Nun Thor right there. I don't know why I put him up when I got a review. I'm like, God, take him back down and put him back up. That's going to be a pain. Well, whatever. He still looks good on display. I couldn't help but put him next to Galactus. And then I have Fire Lord right here. I'm not going to review him. Uh, I just wasn't happy with the body choice here, giving him the white... 2099 spidey body i mean come on man this dude is big in the comics he's like what 66 i believe so he should have been on a bigger body mold um vulcan mold would have been way better for him you know but he's just way undersized he's just too small for fire lord but he looks great on the display uh, i know some people are bothered by the orange or yellow on his you know on, on, on the figure but i'm not bothered by it what bothers me more is the body mold choice and let me see who else did i add new over here did no no oh uh morg duh so i got him in between galactus right there yeah uh, so you can see he's holding his axe um man he looks badass i'm gonna try to keep the heralds as close to galactus as possible um when I get the Fallen and the Terax 2-pack, I will definitely uh, I'll probably put the Fallen floating above Fire Lord right there. And Terax, I bought a um, um, like, a, like an asteroid base for him to float from Would You Kindly Studios. He had some up for sale, and I was just like, you know what, man? <laughs> that would make a great display piece for my Terax. So when I get that in, I'll, I'll show y'all. Uh, what it's about um but yeah oh yeah bombastic bagman so i put him with the fantastic four and a half here can't forget about little franklin richards wonder if hasbro will do a franklin richards figure like 
this kind of figure, like creating a new uh, child-based body. Uh, I wonder if they'll do that like Toy Biz did here. But um, yeah, I just added Bombastic Bagman here with the Kick Me sign facing forward. I have him on my Spider vs. Spider Genin shelf as well because that's the shelf where I want to display all the Spider-Man costumes. Uh, I shifted... Oh, yeah. So I shifted Compound Hulk with Impossible Man. Moved him on this side because uh, that chair I'm using for Kang was taking up some space. But I got Blastar right there. Man, we need a classic version of Blastar. We really do. Um... Fing Fang Foom, wow, look how tiny Fing Fang Foom looks to, look how tiny he looks next to Galactus, just, I remember this figure just being so damn huge, I mean, it's still big, don't get me wrong, um, I think this was their largest bath ever, and just seeing him next to Galactus, he just looks so tiny, he doesn't even look 16 inches anymore, uh, so that's, that's crazy. Uh, what else did I add to the collection? We'll probably go back and forth. Actually, by the way, uh, speaking of Fing Fang Foom, I know that's probably the character that people want to see most as the next HasLab. Next to Giant Man, probably people want to see. Yeah, people definitely want to see Giant Man more. Uh, but how do you think he should be done as a HasLab? Like, how tall do you think he should be? Um, like, my ideal size for Fing Fang Foom would probably be... Should he be as big as Galactus or maybe up to his shoulders? I don't know. I just hope that he's fully posable. And one thing I would love for them to do is add purple shorts for him. But make them soft goods, like fabric, so that way it's removable for those that want to display him without the shorts. That would be really, really cool. And would you prefer him green or orange? I per personally, I, I I love him in this color in, in green, but I wouldn't be opposed to an orange one. Um, now for X Men, I did add the new Beast with the lab coat, so um, I'm not gonna review him. It's it's not new enough for me to warrant a review because I basically reviewed this figure what 2019. He just comes with a new lab coat, new head. And some new, uh, you know, accessories like the glasses that came with the Grey Beast and the, you know, the beakers that came with the uh, Lizard. So I do like that. That one, X Gene 6. I like that beaker right there. I like how they put that label on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've had them in a uh, more ferocious dynamic pose. So this time, switch it up. I always want to make uh, my collection look different from time to time. Just like I had the ponytail for Jean Grey for the longest time. And I never had this head on display. So I'm like, oh man, i got to switch it up here. And so I, I like that long-haired look for her. Uh, oh, I put the uh, new Apocalypse here for now. So I might switch the tubes. <clears throat> Excuse me, I might switch the tubing here. I might give them the bath tubes because that looked more detailed. Uh, but yeah, no, he, he, you know, just for the switch up, I, I like the, the multi-cannon arm right there. Uh, did I, I still gotta add Toad. I still gotta open up Toad. I don't know if I should review him or not. I don't know. If you guys want me to review Toad, let me know. Um, I know we're gonna get a new blob soon. Uh, this one's cool. I just think that the one that came out or excuse me, the one that's been leaked looks more comic accurate to Blob. Um, if you want a more disgusting, hideous looking version of Blob, then, you know, go with this one that looks like he has freaking pouches in his mouth. <laughs> oh no, man, he's just holding a lot of food in that mouth there. Uh, and, oh, I did get the VHS Mystique. I have my VHS collection right here. Not enough room for me, so I'm gonna... Try to see where I can display all the tapes or packages, you know, lined up together. I think I just need Cyclops now. Sucks that uh, she didn't come out like this, pinless. 
Don't know if I showed you before with my Spider Verse Spider Geddon shelf, but I did put Bombastic Bagman there. Come on, focus. Oh, these guys' feet are in the way, but all right. Just one look there. I did put Spinneret there. Not sure if I showed her the last time, but showing her now. I did put Silk there, the new one. Um, Iron Spider on display. I know I reviewed him. I don't think I did a Honda shelf segment for him. So just showing you uh, how he looks on the display. And terrible future foundation stealth suit. Is there? I made sure to put it in the back to hide those terrible paint apps. <laughs> um, yeah, put the retro Spider-Man there. Oh, this guy is not straight here. Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man is definitely the best Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure this year. Gotta have him in the middle. To me, that is the first Spider-Man look, so he should be center above all. And anything else that's newly added um i believe i showed off lizard before so yeah there he goes if you didn't see it before spider-man mary jane i still gotta hang them up here running away from green goblin but i'll do that when i gotta switch this guy out because i'm getting the uh three pack the riot and agony versus venom two pack so i can finally have a comic venom on this body in this display so i'll just do that at that time can't wait to get the new scorpion uh um what else what else what else i'm not sure what well that's not right dr strange i think i just put dr strange there when i was doing uh comparisons with galactus i meant to put him back on the avengers shelf but that's something else that i need to read work um I gotta add, I took out the old Sentry, and I gotta add the new one. So, I still haven't opened that new Sentry yet. Also, here is the new Black Panther on my Avengers display. So, oh, man, I love this Black Panther figure. He looks so cool. I just really wish they painted the sculpted lines on his gloves and his boots. So, that would have made a world's difference for this figure. And I believe that's about it for new additions. I got to rework this whole... <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got two Galactus. <laughs> uh, in case you didn't know, I plan on... Hopefully, I could get someone to make a Zyran the Tester Celestial head so I can have a Celestial in the line. Or, you know, if someone's willing to make an Unmasked Galan head. So, yeah, because, I, you know, I, I really don't have a need to display the Doom head. It, it, it came out looking really, really cool. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's for me, it's not something that's displayable on my shelf. One thing I forgot to mention in my review is that when you're articulating the arms, be careful because the deltoid muscles can get scratched up against this harness. So they made this a hard plastic instead of soft. This should have been a soft plastic. As you can see, I got some scuffage there so that is unfortunate um but yeah that's yeah they should have done a softer material this i've seen uh, some reviews now where this is disconnecting and mine doesn't do that uh i know it tabs back in together so that's the good thing but this it doesn't happen on mine um and i don't want to risk uh you know breaking something uh, i didn't check on the one that's on display so and i'm not gonna do that since he's up on display already but um yeah i've seen where it's, you articulate it like it, it just totally disconnects like i get the split there but it doesn't fully disconnect that's as far as the arm will go up i'm not gonna push any further up than that and then when i check the other arm it's uh yeah, same thing. It just stays like that, but look at what just happened when I did that. See even more uh, scuffish, so that, that really sucks, man. Um, design flaw? Probably, you know. So I'm just taking the time here to let you know to make up for that. Oh, man, I gotta fix this. This <laughs> I gotta fix this. So I did get some new... Uh, 
MCU figures added to the collection. So I got to work this, re rework this Phase 4 shelf. I had the stupid uh, Doctor Strange portal. It's not stupid. It's a really awesome effect portal. Um, the reason why I'm calling it stupid because this thing fell down and knocked everyone back. I don't know how because that thing looks sturdy when uh, it's 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 planted. So I, I really I understand how it fell because no figures knocked that back over. If anything, and knocked the figures forward and back. So yeah, it caused a huge freaking mess. So I gotta rework that, gotta rework this Avengers. Oh man, the MCU shelf is like, <laughs> oh man, it looks like Thanos snapped it away. <laughs> He's not done with Thanos yet. So yeah, I, I gotta rework that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so any new additions, you know, I, I might do another update of the collection before the end of the year or maybe beginning of the year. I don't know when, but, uh, let me turn this guy back on. There we go. All right. So let me know what you think of Galactus on my cosmic shelf. Man, this is looking freaking epic. This is epic. This is just, oh man, when I... Put this up finally i was just so satisfied it was instant gratification again my money's worth here i absolutely love this display i couldn't be happier man so all right that's it as always like comment share and subscribe if you're new see you on the next video peace peace